it's tough, you know. It's really tough finding yourself after fame so young. Oh, remember this? The old... No, I love it, love it. Brrr, brrr. Me summed up in three words. I feel like I've been put on the spot a bit here. It'll get better. You are good at your job. Can I just get a little touch up? Don't want to look shiny, you know. I do miss it, the, the fame, the, the popularity, the, the warm glow of the spotlight. Everyone wants a piece of you. <clears throat> Makes you think, why can't an adult be a cowboy? Also, I do a killer American accent. Most people thought I was American because of the ads. I get that all the time. Nope. It's really good at my job. Do you remember them? Do you remember the ads? I was good, wasn't I? I'd uh, break into people's houses and deliver them a box of chocolates. Then I'd leave without a trace, apart from my calling card, of course. What's not to love? <laughs> it's that man again. Ow! No, come on, it's me, me, the milk. He continues to break and enter, which he knows, as I made clear to him time and time again, is against the law. All he needs to do is just knock and then wait politely, like any other normal human being would. I'm a female that plays drums to a professional standard, and that's all anyone wants to know. My parents were musicians. My mum was a composer and dad was a violinist. I was born for it. The rock and roll lifestyle chose me. It's in my genes. Oh, sorry. I mean, what use is money when you're a kid? I was offered to get paid in white chocolate, and so I got paid in white chocolate, and it was absolutely perfect for a while. I was the most popular kid in school. Everyone loved me. Just didn't consider that maybe it might be quite good to have a little money at this age. You live and learn. Yeah, so these ones aren't for eating. These ones are my income. So what I do is package them up and then flog them on eBay or car boot sales. I mean, admittedly, sales of old white chocolate haven't been as good as they used to, but it's not like I've got much of a choice. Still good to eat? Um, I think some of them are quite out of date, but they taste all right. So, I have to stay within one kilometre of the house. Actually, it's worked out quite well. I have everything I need within walking distance. They do say shop locally and support local businesses and all that. Besides, it's a lovely place to live. I'll happily admit it, I've been dining out on the fame for years. It does get you places, and it is enjoyable. Hollywood parties with A-listers. Super yachts with rock stars. Yes, I did dabble with some harder vices, like planting. Then this whole electronic rave culture took over and I tried to roll with the punchies. I spent months and months trying to get to grips with DJ Dex. But I'm not built for it. It was impossible to stay relevant. Oh, sorry, you got to get that. Okay. 
you come, sir. Now, consider this your final warning. I strongly recommend you behave yourself in future. Thank you for sharing your stories, you brave, brave people. We're here to help you discover life after Big Chalk, to give them two fingers and not look back. Life has moved on and you can too. But chocolate's all I've ever known, it's all I've ever loved. Guys, you do not need to give up chocolate. You just need to choose a better chalk. One that's gonna be there for you. One that's not gonna let you down because there is more to life when you eat Love Raw. To be honest, I knew I was born to sell chocolate. I just needed to find the right one. your love raw, Mrs. Brown. And just remember, if you get in the saddle, then you've got to be ready for the ride.